had another idea how lucky or happy I would be. I'm the luckiest guy in the whole world. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. I'm so thankful that. You can read them. You can read them. You worked hard to write them. When we first went out, I wanted to stay in London, but I couldn't. I fall in love with you not because we both love Star Wars. You are the only guy who ever played the guitar and made me feel so special and cared for. And I wanted to thank you for picking me to share your life, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And I promise to cook you breakfast and make you coffee and tell it all to do and to all that you stay at this <laughs> Okay? Not just because of all you've done for me, but because it is something that makes you smile. When you smile, I feel warm inside, so loved, and I can't wait to marry you. <laughs> what a privilege it is for me to be here today. I stood here a few years ago marrying another young couple. Oh, thank you for the young. <laughs> yeah. And uh, John, and Je John and Jessica have chosen this day to become one in marriage. Marriage is the most honorable estate created and instituted by God. Our example is Christ and His church. No, you're fine. Uh, the first miracle that Jesus Don't ever did was the uh, wedding in Galilee. The uh, young couple ran out of wine, and his mom came and got him, and he uh, turned the water into wine. And the captain of the uh, wedding said, This is the best wine you've ever had, you know. John and Jessica, life is given to each of us as individuals, yet we must learn to love, live and love together. Love is given to us by our family, and we learn to love by being loved. And living together is one of life's greatest challenges, and yet the shared goal of married life. Woman was made from the rib of man, not to be his head or, or uh, over him nor his foot to be stepped on by him, but from his side to be equal with him, under his arm to be protected by him, and near his heart to be loved by him. Both husband and wife should not confuse love of worldly measures, for even if worldly success is found, only love will maintain a marriage. As you travel through life together, I caution you to remember that the true measure of success and the true avenue to joy and peace is to be found within your hearts. Hold, so I would ask you to hold the key to your heart very tightly. Within the Bible, nothing is of more importance than love. We are told the beautiful truth that God is love. We are assured that love conquers all. And it is love that brings you here today, the union of two hearts and two spirits in the one. As your lives continue to interweave into one beautiful pattern, remember it was love that brought you here today, and it is love that will make a lasting marriage. It is love that will uh, cause this marriage to, to grow through good times and bad. As I say your vows, will you affirm them, John? John, will you take Jessica to be your wife, your partner in life, your one true love, to cherish your friendship, and love her today, tomorrow, and forever? I do. <laughs> Jessica, will you uh, affirm again? Jessica, will you take John to be your husband, your partner in life, and your one true love to cherish his friendship and love him today, tomorrow, and forever? I do. Do you have the rings? I have the rings. John, will you repeat after me? John, or Jessica, will you take this ring? Jessica, will you take this ring? And wear it as a symbol. And wear it as a symbol. Of our love for each other. Of our love for each other. I might take some pictures. 
Jessica, will you repeat after me? John, will you take this ring? John, will you take this ring? And wear it as a symbol of our love. And wear it as a symbol of our love. For each other. First Corinthians 13 says, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always prepares. For perseverers, love never fails. Shall we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, I just pray to bless this union of two into one, Lord God, as they travel through life together. May you bless them, God, in the good times and the bad times. Help them to remember in the bad times that why they first came together, their love for each other, Lord. I thank you for that in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. By the authority invested in me by the state of Oregon, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Music. Music. <laughs> <laughs> Grab him. You want pictures up there? Were you doing it? I'll be part of your wedding party. Say. I want to dance. Wait, 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 Keep playing the song. You did great. <laughs> you guys did good. I'll adjourn to the fellowship hall here. And, uh, I told you, you cry. We bet we bet. Okay. We bet it ten dollars that you cry. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Somebody take pictures of me with my son. Oh, film it or something. Let me see, right?